COVID broadcast. Um, I'm Grant, and with me I have Doug and Matt, who you know from our previous broadcast. And tonight we have a very special guest all the way from the UK, uh, Mr. Ian Kelsey. How are you doing tonight, Ian? Just one issue. You said I was going to be on the first episode. <laughs> <laughs> and this is well, number two. We... This, this, we'll we'll, we'll, we'll... We'll delete the first episode. So, so this will be Grant. Just go back, go back, redo that intro. Just don't okay, tell okay, him anymore. Okay, I'll go back. I'll go back. All right, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm pressing stop. No, 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 no. Keep it going. Welcome <laughs> to the first episode. <laughs> um, as you can see, Ian is is a good friend of mine. Um, <laughs> what's that about? <laughs> Um, and yeah, we're coming with, it's now our South Africa's first day in lockdown. And we've got Ian on tonight because we're going to be speaking to him about uh, what's it, what it's been like in the UK. Um, but before we get to that, we just want to get over to the stats. Um, Doug, if you can tell the South Africans what the state of affairs is in our country at the moment. All right, so to the news, as it were. Do, 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 do. Right. Um, <laughs> there have been a few, <laughs> been a few changes. Uh, globally, there are 40,950 new corona cases, bringing global total up to 572,760, um, with a global death of 2,282, so quite high. 919 that, of those uh, in Italy today. Uh, 919 in Italy, so Italy's really not having a good time of it. Um, there has been a takeover of who is leading in the corona stats. Uh, the USA now has the most with 93,329, closely followed Jesus. by 86,498 in Italy, which relegates um, China into third place. Um, and in local news, we have broken the thousand which means we got to over a thousand people faster than Italy did. They took 26 days, we took 20. Uh, we have 1,170 cases with 243 new cases in the last 24 hours. Unfortunately, we also had the first two deaths in South Africa uh, in the last 24 hours, yeah. two women from the Western Cape. Um, and we have also had an increase of critical cases from two yesterday to seven today. So, as you can see, okay. we are advancing a pace. Uh, it should be noted that uh, these numbers in South Africa are a little bit dicey because there is a test backlog in South Africa, roughly 5,000 tests that have not yet been processed. Um, but with the of the 15 or so thousand, 20 or so thousand that have been processed so far, we're seeing roughly 3% of people being found positive. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so those are the stats. Um, we have some and other things the we can discuss later, but uh, we'll, 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 come, we'll come back to top stories later. But those are the stats. Uh, <laughs> and, yeah. And, and, and <laughs> traffic. Oh wait, there isn't any. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> as, as for the weather, um, how can can expect a cold front? I think we can all feel it out here. I think to be quite honest. Um, <laughs> It descended like a dementor in Harry Potter. Like everything was fine, and then it was really no, cold. Um, we're, we're busy recording right now. Oh, shit. We are recording. Hi, Sam. <laughs> Sorry. My wife Sam says is, hello. Uh, part of this broadcast as well. Um, <laughs> we're so professional. <laughs> yeah, so professional. And we um, thought your daughter Ivy, was going to be the one to interrupt us in. <laughs> um, Ivy is also a part of this broadcast. She's watching TV in the background. 
Hey, Ivy. Hey, Ivy. <laughs> hey, Ivy. <laughs> so, Ian, tell us, um, what's quarantine been like for you guys? You've been down on lockdown longer than we have, haven't you? Well, only, um, I think only officially for about a week. Um, oh, has it been? Yeah. Um, well, even less than that, actually. Um, a week ago, the kids were taken out of school. And okay. that was the first mega thing for us, which was, um, that was the big life changer, the first big life changer. Yeah. So the kids have been off school. So, um, so they've, all the schools have had to go into this, um, like remote learning. So all the teachers have had to, basically, I, I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be a kind of, it, it, yeah, yeah, clearly remote learning, <laughs> remote watching Netflix. <laughs> I learned most important yeah. stuff from TV. Yeah, so. e, 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 yeah, e, 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 Netflix. <laughs> oh, actually, if, she's if it watching makes horrible you... history, so you know. Oh, okay. Uh, if it makes you feel any better, my my boss sent me a WhatsApp today saying day one not going well. Do you guys want two kids to see what it would be like? <laughs> hey, no, go on. this is why I'm sponsored by. <laughs> um, so that was the first big life changer, but I don't know what it's been like for you, you guys, but um, there was lots and lots of rumours on WhatsApp and, uh, and on kind of social media stuff. And that yeah. was... It, it, that did really upset a lot of people. And I, I live in a I live in a flat here. So we've all got mm. this um uh WhatsApp group for the people that live in these flats. And um oh no, it was uh, for Ivy's school school. So there's all the all the mums and um I'm the only dad on it, cheers. Um, hey. um <laughs> so this so um so this one mum um um, puts like this notification up saying something about oh there's going to be a message at half five tonight on the news there's going to be lockdown you know before there was lockdown um, and yeah. basically about four mothers annihilated her just saying stop it you're oh, spreading rumours you know because what happened with us before we were officially on lockdown the supermarkets just cleaned out I mean Proper, oh. proper cleaned out. I don't know what it's like for you. Are you there yet, or are people? Yeah, yeah, we've we've had that as well. We yeah. saw clean out the, uh, the a couple of days before. I'd say it was when it was really happening, but Thursday it kicked in. Uh, but in terms of the rumors, we we started seeing rumors about lockdown on Monday after President Ramaphosa delayed his speech when the South African National Defence Force started showing up in uh, in town. So, yeah. Well, at least you knew yeah, it was. Uh, I mean, because we, the, mm. the, one of the rumors was that um, there was going to be army cadets and police cadets on, mm. on the roads stopping you from going anywhere. Yeah. That, that was just a, a load of crap because there's how many roads are there in England? How many roads are there in South Africa? Yeah. There's lots of people to police that. So, what, so what has happened? I heard today um, one of the one of the, one of our supermarkets, one of our big supermarkets, got closed because people were not abiding to the two metre um, social distancing. So the police yeah. came in, and the staff were really upset, and the police just shut it down. So today wow. I went to go and do a supermarket shop, and I had to. Uh, everybody was stood about four metres apart, and they were letting. Um, 10 in, 10 out. So there was only about 30 yeah. people in this massive supermarket, which was brilliant because it only took about 10 minutes to get in there. Um, yeah. Loads of people turning up and kind of like, you could see them Googling other supermarkets. And, you know, we were all shouting. I'm going, it's fine. It only takes 10 minutes to get in. You know, it's like, calm down, everyone. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh my God, yeah. there's a queue. You know what I mean? So you go in there and everybody was quite <laughs> mindful. You know, um, but it is quite comedy. You know, I was like in one aisle. 
and I heard somebody coughing in in the two aisles down, and I was like, <laughs> "Who's that?" Do you know what I mean? And <laughs> it's, it's, it's like, you, did you just cough? You know, if you have the road <laughs> out. I, I I heard a great meme the other day that went along the lines of, "I used to cough to hide a fart. Now I fart to hide a cough." <laughs> where we are yeah and now the weather yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I have found that the quickest way to clear a supermarket queue is to just cough a little yeah, yeah. works wonders <laughs> well, um, when we, uh, so before it went into proper lockdown was um, it was um, we were told that you you could go out to the supermarket, um, you could go to, key workers could go to work. Uh, but I was in quite a strange, I had quite a strange scenario because I was, I've, I've been doing some joinery work on a, on a, on a coach. It's like an old showman's coach. It's like an old gypsy caravan. And it's, yeah. and it's in a cow shed in the middle of the countryside. So when I get in my car and I haven't got the kids, when the kids are at mum's, when I get in my car and I drive to the middle of the countryside and do a full day's work there, I don't meet anybody. I'm not mm. breathing on anybody. I'm in the middle of the countryside. And then I get in my car and I drive home. And again, I don't meet anybody. So I was in a bit of a quandary whether I should be doing that. But, you know, our prime minister is like lockdown, lockdown, total lockdown. And you get all these. You know, you got all these knobheads going to markets and beaches and parks, and you can see them all just stood normal. And it's like it's almost as if they're going like that yeah. to the virus, but they don't even yeah. have the sense to realise that they actually they're they're encouraging it. You know, so there's all that going on. But also, um, I've got a motorbike as well, and um, they're even even though you know you get on your bike. And you go for a ride, you, you've got your helmet on, you're self-isolated, having a nice ride, it's kind of nice therapy. But even the biking community are saying that you shouldn't go out because you're risking, if you fall off, then that's two uh, ambulance drivers, you know, you're putting pressure on the NHS. So all the biking world is saying, no, everybody stay at home. So, you know, everybody's doing the right thing. It's, um, you know... Even in the flats here, me and Ivy got in the lift and the lift stopped at another floor and nobody got in the let us go down. So we're all sharing wow. space and everything. So uh, it, yeah. it's bringing everybody together. Like me and Ivy have just been out for a bike ride. This is one of the things you're allowed to do in England is, is exercise once a day. And you're seeing okay. families together, you know, probably that, you know, because the dad's working or the mum's working or the kids are at school, you, you're seeing families. So it's actually, it's bringing people together. So I think when yeah. this is, people are going to go, oh, I missed, I missed that. And I want that back. Yeah. You know, so, you know, you see families out walking together and yeah, having a laugh. Yeah. You know, so it, yeah. it's quite nice. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Get me Coca Cola, please. <laughs> Respond to that. I do find it quite interesting that you say it's bringing people together by keeping them apart almost. Yeah, yeah. It's throwing yeah. families together. Um, and yes. <laughs> and, 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 and now for you. an ad break. <laughs> <laughs> This time of day. <laughs> no. Devil's water. Get me a beer. <laughs> I'm not sure the South African sponsors are going to appreciate this, particularly as none of those are South African products. <laughs> All right, you can have one of these if you get me a beer. You don't have <laughs> And, and these are parenting hacks that Ian oh, has for. <laughs> <Yeah, I know. laughs> right, the barking parents are getting right in. Right. Yeah. So, um, 
So the um, the lockdown, the official official lockdown, I think started on. I think it was Tuesday or um, Tuesday or Wednesday. So we're not long into it, actually. You're not that far behind us. But the saying yeah. that um, our, our graph where Italy went like that, it's like, you know, 20 deaths, 40 deaths, 50 deaths, and then it just went like that, stupid mm. vertical. So we are two weeks behind that. So in about a week mm. and a half time, they're expecting us to go vertical. So that's uh, yeah. why we've, they've, I mean, they've, they've said that Boris Johnson's got it today, but I immediately thought, is he just saying that to, to, to make an example for everybody else? You know, now the prime minister's having to isolate, you know, oh, he's isolating, so we've got to isolate. I don't know, but, you know, if he has it, yeah. he hasn't. It's, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's an interesting point that you bring up, though. I mean, that because that, there is like on top of just having to deal with the fact that there's this pandemic and you've got to isolate and everything. There's this constant kind of having to be scared about is the news that you're getting actually legit or is yeah. this yeah. some kind of fake news or, or what's going on? You know, I mean, we Luckily, had to make the decision this morning about... Um, the two deaths that were reported here and do we do we say anything about it and you know it's like you you got to be really careful yeah. these days it adds that like extra level of anxiety to everything mm. yeah definitely. well the, like, the, um, we have a they're opening up they're, <laughs> they're opening up some big exhibition centers and they've just they've just opened up what they call xl um which is a massive kind of uh, exhibition centre in the centre of London and they've got 4,000 beds in there ready wow. so that kind of makes you makes your ears prick up and you're going what are they expecting yeah. mm, you know yeah. mm. so I think it is it, it is going to get worse before it's going to get better and this so thing about bad. it's only the old people there are you know my mate's got a, a friend of his she's a marathon runner she's She's normally fit as anything, and she's she's had it, but she's out of the other side of it now. But just because you're fit and young, doesn't mean to say you're not going to get it. But it doesn't mm, mean to say you're going to yeah. die. But we've had a 21 year old die here a couple of days ago, you know. So, um, oh, heck. you know, it's 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 worth it's it's worth heeding, and I think to to you know to not socialise. And it's weird because I come from a split marriage and I've just been to pick Ivy up today. And as long as you know that mum and my other daughter haven't... It's this pyramid effect. It's like mm. or rice on a chessboard, two, four, you know, eight, 16, 32. Yeah. By the end, it's just this massive, massive thing. It's and this is what it's been. yeah. If we kind of keep our distance and don't let it breed, it'll. Uh, I don't know what the science is. If it'll just die, if it's got nobody to pass on to. But um, well, that's what we're hoping for. Mm. That is like that it. is indeed. Well, I think the best we can hope for is to slow down the rate of infection. Yeah. Pardon me. No. I think the best we can hope for is to slow down the rate of infection. Try and give companies like the NHS or even the South African Health Services, the opportunity to get to grips with what they're facing. Um, I mean, 10,000 people need hospital in a year. It's very different from 10,000 people needing to go to hospital in a week. Yeah. yeah. yeah I think really that's, the, that's the aim of why we're all sitting in our homes on a Friday night. So you, yeah. you're, going, you, you're going to have lockdown tonight, or was that last night? We started last it night. started last night. <clears throat> Yeah. All right. So, what are the streets like today? Are you allowed uh, to exercise? No, we're we're not allowed outside unless only if you're providing an essential service. So, nurses, social workers, um, IT personnel, um, and of course the the police and the South African National Defence Force are and retail not, workers, not, actors. not jazz hands. No actors. <laughs> we're essential in a different way. 
I could tell you directors are going to see us actors doing this stuff, and they're going to be like, "Why put a show on in a theater?" <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. It's, 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 it's not the actors that are screwed out of all of this. Actually, it's us techies from the theaters, because because <laughs> oh, directors exactly. and producers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Because all of, all of the all of the producers are going to be like, well, why weren't out of theater? I know. <laughs> you know what? Um, yeah, you guys are in the job. <laughs> right, um, please yeah. validate yeah. my existence. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? So what in, take his <laughs> the, the people are going to realize that um, this is quite a cool way of, of doing it. My mate... Um, lives in Manchester and he has to come down once every two weeks to Brighton to have a meeting face to face and he's been having Skype and he was like actually okay. that's alright so there's no train fare there's no hotel overnight there's no jolly there's no expenses so people are going to actually go oh do you know what this is cheaper um, doing yeah. it like this my girlfriend's son has just had a piano lesson on Skype and he enjoyed it more oh. because she not giving him that much, and he and he actually he actually played a bit more. So so piano, and she wasn't having to car her other three kids in a car, twenty minutes there, twenty minutes back. So economy, you know, environment. And it, it's the way. Unfortunately, I think it's going to jolt people into realizing this is the way forward, and all yeah. you know, there's a certain amount of people that are going to stick to the screen, you know. Yeah. There's one thing for sure is after these 21 days of quarantine for all of us, I think the world is going to have a lot of realizations of how certain things have been running are not the most efficient way to be running. Um, I mean, we're probably facing a, a global economic collapse um, to, to be completely like pessimistic. Um, and I think <laughs> like, yeah, for me, like, I think inflation has been running away for right. the last 20 years. Yeah. And some, something like this is going to make the economy at least come back to to a normal a normal mean, like a more livable mean. Um, I was listening to the radio um, a few days or last week, and the presenters did this thing of um, if your work had to stop today, how long could your savings keep you going oh, and okay. the amount of people that they had call in that I would like I won't last the day I won't last the week I'd be lucky if I make it to the end of the month and it's it's a big reality um, for for a lot of people in South Africa it's just yeah so uh, I don't know let's let's see well, what happens you, you guys you, you also start looking at your 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 outgoings you know it for me, mm. um, seven quid, seven quid a month on Spotify. I love Spotify, and it's brought music back into my life. But am I going to have to get rid of that? You know, I've got um, I've got a really good deal with the with the satellite TV, but I've got the kids at home. So, yeah. am I going to have to think about binning that? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, the kids can pick up mm. books and everything, but you know, people will be screaming at me, listening to me, going, "Yes." Sack the telly, get the kids to pick up books and everything. You know what I mean? But um, yeah. it, it's, and it's but it's it, and it's also a good time to start living off the freezer. Haven't you the freezer out? How long has the food been in there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a good well, thing that uh, that I well, haven't I'm been listening to my wife about cleaning the freezer. I'm eating, you know, two year old bolognese. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, man, what went first in your supermarket? What went first? Surprisingly, uh, tinned beans. Um, tinned beans for me, for my supermarket. Tinned beans. Yeah. Didn't matter what kind of bean it was. Spaghetti like. and toilet paper. Still, yeah, I mean... Still can't, still can't see spaghetti. Spaghetti, mine really? Was, mm. Yeah, mine, mine was bread and hand sanitizer. And... Um, Specifically, Denny's Chicken a la King stove mix. I, <laughs> I couldn't find it for four days. I eventually gave up looking for that particular flavor. All the other flavors were there, but just 
the chicken a la king was gone. People seem to think, I, I think it's because Corona is a flu and you, you eat chicken when you have flu. So right. Right. maybe it's that thing. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I, I have I have to admit, I don't think that the like the emptying of stores here has been as bad as it seems to have been in other places. I mean, my my sister's in Engl- uh, London. And when I was talking to her, it sounded apocalyptic. Her stores, it's like yeah. you don't—if you don't get there before nine, it's like everything's just gone. gone. Well, I think that we yeah. had the advantage it, of it our. It was our, like that. It was. Yeah. We had the advantage of our stores putting into place very early on, where they said this item only three per customer, this item yeah. only two yeah. per customer. And they did that very early on before the yeah. lockdown kicked in, before everything else. So we, because South Africa got hit relatively late in the grand scheme of things. We'd seen what happened in other countries, yeah, and so we're able to, yeah, prepare, to prepare for that sort of event. Yeah. Right. yeah Speaking true. of other countries, just in uh, the United States Congress has just approved a two trillion dollar stimulus package uh, for the yeah. country. Three hundred sixty-seven billion of it will go to small businesses nice. to assist them through these next uh, next few weeks. So, I mean, hopefully, I saw that uh, in the UK. They were talking about a two and a half thousand pound uh, stimulus being given to uh, self-employed people. Yeah, but it's it's not people are not getting. I mean, myself, my, you know, I was unemployed before the virus, and I'm still unemployed, so it hasn't really changed for me. You know, I was mm-hmm. still skin, and I'm, I'm, yeah, I was skin, and I'm still skin. But you know, other people have. <laughs> <laughs> Other people have been unemployed by the virus, so they're the ones that are getting hit. But I could still mm, yeah. apply for this two and a half grand thing. But it it sounds good, but it's 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 a loan. It's not a it's not a gift. It's, okay. Oh. Yeah. But but the the interest is is tax. You can put it off your tax, so it's free yeah. money, I suppose. But it you know. You know, do you need to take two and a half grand and pay two and a half grand back? You, you know, it's it, yeah. it just seems like a free credit card. You're still going to have to give it back. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, no such thing yeah. as a free lunch. Still, I imagine if it's a choice yeah. between that or under a bridge. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, the thing is about with the mortgages as well, they're, they're saying about, you know, you can freeze your mortgage for three months, but I'm just going to continue paying it because if I... I'm probably going to be in a worse position in three months. So then I'm mm. not going to be able to pay that, you know. So, it, you know, I, I'm not, I've already jumped off the bridge and it's it's how fast I'm going to hit the bottom, you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough, yes. It's whether, you have a, it's whether you have a parachute or a packed lunch in your backpack. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, you know, you'd be like uh, eBay, parachute, parachute, second hand parachute. <laughs> <laughs> Delivery anyway, in three days. Just to, just to, uh, as as I'm the, the the ultimate clock watcher, I'm seeing here that we're about to run out of time. So, do you have any suggestions for South Africans? Yeah, as I say, you've only been quarantined a few days longer than we have. But any suggestions? <laughs> um, taking into account that it is now not possible to buy any alcohol or cigarettes for the next 21 days, what we can do to survive the next 21 days? Really? Can you not get alcohol? Or cigarettes. No, no. Oh. All cigarettes. Yeah, no. All cigarettes. They shut us down completely. You know what? Bad. There's going to be a lot of six packs going down, down there, down there. It's a good <laughs> thing. Embrace it. Embrace it. Embrace it. Embrace it. You know, right. find find the positive out of out of this 21 days and embrace it. There's tons of stuff going on online. Um, I know that the casting directors uh, are doing things down, um, you know, they're having a look at people. There's lots and lots of things going on online if you can, you know, be bothered to go and chase it down. But, you know, pick a book up and get into a book. Um, I don't know. It, it's a change of life. And don't grab onto what was. Embrace yeah. this one. And then you, you know, might find a nice change for yourself when you come out of this one, you know? Yeah. yeah. One final question. Like, cigarettes, in the 80s. Uh, booze, 
And books. You can't buy books. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, you can't buy books either. Those bookstores have been closed too. But, um, <laughs> but, what, but book, there's always what book Amazon. would you suggest? What book would you suggest South Africans read? Who? Um, oh, well, you mean you mean self healing or proper a good book? Oh, come on, a good book. Any, any book. No, any book. book. One that, first one comes to mind. Uh, a James Bond novel. I'll, <laughs> with that. I'll go with that. I'll go with that. I'll All go right. with that. I'm not. <laughs> and, 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 and self healer is. Hang on, let me get it. <laughs> uh, uh, here we go. You got to do the presentation properly. Don't sweat the small stuff. Very good. Very good. There we cool. go. So that that is our. Those are our first two books on the official duck and covered reading list, uh, yes. as we've seen. <laughs> <laughs> and we shall update it every day as we go on. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh. Hey, hey, Ian. Um, yeah. Just want to say thanks very much for for spending your time with us and giving us a window into your world. And yeah, all the best for you guys that side. Cool. Okay. Good luck out there. Thank you, too, man. Cheers. Cheers, cheers guys. Hello, Internet. Just a note to say thank you very much for watching this episode of Duck and Covered. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please do like and share. And if you have any interesting stuff that you'd like us to cover, let us know. Reach out to us. We're always interested to hear from anyone. And if you have something particularly interesting to say, then uh, let us know. And we will welcome anyone to come and join us for a guest spot on Duck and Covered. See you next time. And in the meantime, stay safe and be healthy. sure. And remember Peace. what Bert the Turtle just did, friends, because every one of us must remember to do the same thing.